Hello Capricorn, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week, commencing the 5th until the 11th of September 2016. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the Eight of Swords. This card reflects that you feel trapped by your own thoughts and perspectives, the woman in this card is blindfolded and bound, trapping her into thinking that she has no way out. However, if only she could remove the blindfold and change her thinking, she would see that she does indeed have options. So, the Eight of Swords suggests that you need to look at a difficult situation from a new angle. Draw upon your intellectual self and your emotional self to determine the best path forward, one that avoids any possible victimization or restriction. The Eight of Swords is often a sign that it is best not to make any important decisions at this point because your thinking has been limited and constrained by self-imposed boundaries. You are struggling to see a situation for what it is and have been led to believe certain things that may or may not be true. There are choices available but first you must be within the right mindset to know which option to choose. This means releasing the bindings and the blindfold to see the situation from a different, less imposing angle. There may also be too many ideas running through your head. Thus it is best to wait until you feel more secure and certain about a situation before making important decisions and taking action. The woman in the Eight of Swords is often seen as powerless. She has surrendered her power to an unknown entity, thus rendering herself completely powerless. She has become the victim and is now waiting to be rescued. If you see part of this woman in yourself, then it is imperative you take back your power and personal accountability and open your eyes to the options that lie in front of you. The fact is that you do have options, even if you do not like those options. This is fine, so long as you accept that you do indeed have options and you do not have to be the victim here. The Eight of Swords portrays a dilemma whereby you are faced with the difficulty of a painful decision and you are at an impasse uncertain of which way to go. However, what you may not realize is that the decision in the eight is the result of our own actions. Despite the fact that you have boxed yourself into a corner, there is a way out. The solution is simply to deal with the situation in the most direct yet tactful manner possible, and face your choice with inner strength. It is time to be honest with yourself and others in order to be free of the burden of fear or guilt that is implied with the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords can indicate that your interests will be opposed by other people, and this may create restrictions to what it is you want to achieve. Take back your power and realize that you have options whether others oppose you or not. You do not have to be constrained by their way of thinking or their rules. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the King of Wands. This card represents pure fire energy. Unlike the other Wands court cards, he is not so interesting in actual creation and creativity, or in dreaming up ideas and implementing them himself. Instead, he is more inclined to take an idea and change the world to match his vision. 
as such he is a natural born leader of all kinds of people, and he is very visionary. Once he sets himself a goal, he sticks to it and ensures that he can make it happen with the support of those around him. People naturally gravitate towards this king as they know he will get things done and will do it very well. He is a master, too, at being able to get other people to do his work for him, and keep them on side throughout the process. The King of Wands looks forward to challenges because he enjoys the natural rush of adrenaline associated with solving a difficult problem and coming to a solution that will benefit not just one person but many people. In the process, he not only rids himself of his own fear but that of others, by reassuring them that they shall all succeed. He is not all talk, either, and when the going gets tough, he is prepared to do the hard yards to see something through to the end. The King of Wands has a deep and innate respect for other people, and his compassion extends far. He knows how to bring out the best in others and to empower them to deliver his visions and goals, which he knows will be of benefit to the greater population. The King of Wands is an indication that you are someone who is very visionary and goal-oriented. You achieve a lot because you are very clear about your future direction and how you will get there. You do not waste your time on activities or relationships that you believe will lead nowhere. You never just go with the flow, instead you prefer to embark on a strong and direct course of action. The King of Wands reminds you to lead your life with intent, vision and a long-term view. Know that even though you are experiencing challenges now this is just a part of your journey to something much more positive. Eventually, you will see this time as just a little blip on the radar and it will have simply served to make you stronger. Stay focused on your long-term goals. The appearance of the King of Wands also suggests that an opportunity is presenting itself to you, and you now have the power to accept the opportunity and take on the challenge. You are the determining factor in this situation, and circumstances will navigate in the direction you steer them. Indecision or doubt will not be appropriate responses when clarity and confidence are acquired. However, as you progress in this new role, it will begin to feel more comfortable. The negative aspect of the King of Wands is that he can be arrogant and even aggressive in his pursuit of his goals. He may be conscious or unconscious of this. He shows determination and vision to accomplish his goals at any cost, and while he is often a respected leader, there can be instances where he is prepared to go above the heads of others in order to fulfill his own dreams and agendas, potentially putting others offside. This king can also become easily distracted by bigger and better things and he can become so accustomed to attention that he can take other people for granted. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the Five of Cups. This card shows recovery from regret and an acceptance of the past. Now, you are beginning to realize the full implications of the past and you have come to appreciate the lessons learned from the experience. You may even recognize the value of the painful experience in the broader scheme of things in preparing you for later experiences. You are ready to pick up the remaining two cups that are full of the water of emotional growth and go on. This card is also about learning to be open and to take risks again. It is a card of a lingering sense of regret, nostalgia and bittersweet memories but the card itself speaks of being hopeful for the future, getting over whatever you need to get over, and of seeing the sun peek through the clouds once again. If you have suffered a broken romance, the Five of Cups signifies an end to the suffering, and a beginning to new loves and relationships, new interests, and new emotional outlets. You are starting to engage with the inspiring, creative and feeling side of life again. The Five of Cups is about values and knowing what you truly want and what will really make you happiest. It is about the hidden blessings that lie behind obvious disappointments. 
sometimes disappointments are required to see through illusions and free you to find what is truly of value in life. Once you have made this transition, you will be free to embrace new opportunities. Sometimes, the Five of Cups indicates a feeling of being trapped in the past, holding on too tightly to the might-have-beens, and not being able to focus on the positive. The reversal could also indicate buried feelings of regret, that you are not allowing to surface and therefore they never get dealt with and brought to closure. Five is also the number of change, and indicates an emotional destabilization that is intended to create change in how you approach your life. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you. Your card is, the three of cups. This card is representative of friendships and collegiate, harmonious relationships. It is a time when you are open to helping others, which in turn means that others are open to helping you. It is about spending quality time with your loved ones and your friends. You may find that by turning to your friends, you receive the love, support and compassion you need right now. Your close circle of friends may be a mother's group, old school friends a women's networking group or a collection of friendships that you have built up over the years. There is a oneness shared between your close friends and you, and there is a general feeling of sensitivity and sympathy with one another. The Three of Cups heralds a very sociable period. You will find a harmonious balance between meeting your commitments and spending quality time with friends and family. This is a great time to let your hair down and indulge yourself a little. You may be particularly drawn to the bar or restaurant scene, indulging in great food, wine and cocktails. You may also be celebrating something special, such as a birth, engagement, wedding, reunion, or birthday. For the moment, even though life's problems go on, you can take time out to forget about the hassles of the everyday world and enjoy the company of your friends and loved ones. Such respites are often needed before and after periods of high stress, to stop you from getting burned out emotionally or physically. When this card appears and you are experiencing a high level of stress, take some time off to recuperate, and gain the support of friends before returning to reality. More broadly, the Three of Cups indicates the end or conclusion of any problems you have been experiencing, particularly those that relate to your interactions with others. A compromise will be found which will serve all the interests of those involved and will allow for a more harmonious environment. You can facilitate this process by bringing about positive change within yourself and changing your attitude and the way you react or deal with what is happening. Treat the situation with compassion and give the benefit of the doubt where possible. The Three of Cups represents community and groups of people coming together to focus on a common goal for the greater good of others. You may find that by reaching out to others and banding together, you can achieve a huge amount in terms of sharing your positive energy and passion with others, benefiting the wider community. It is a sign that you should seek out other people to celebrate your successes along with you. The Three of Cups is also a very creative card, suggesting that you may pursue a creative outlet within a group environment, such as an art class or a dance class. This is a great way to connect with others and to access your creative abilities. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you? Your card is, the Two of Wands. This card suggests that you need to start organizing your long-term goals and prioritizing what is important to you and what you really want to achieve. At the moment, it may seem that you want so many things but you have not thought these through enough to make them a reality. Start at the beginning again and meditate on what is important to you and what motivates and drives you. Look at where your passions are, and then start planning how you will achieve these goals. 
you may also be afraid to step out into unknown territories, despite the huge growth potential, instead preferring to stay with what is familiar to you. The trouble is your growth is current being stunted in your present environment and your world has become too small for you. It is time to bring your attention back to your original goal and understand the beneficial impact of taking a risk and stepping out into the bigger world around you. The two of wands can also indicate that you have overlooked some important details related to your plan for the future. You may have been moving full steam ahead but have recently hit a roadblock due to lack of planning. You may also be overconfident about your success, overlooking the things that matter most. Or, you may be losing your passion associated with your goal and are becoming easily bored and demotivated. It is essential that you reignite that passion, or start again with something you feel more inspired about. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the King of Pentacles. This card represents you being abundance, secure, full of ambition, power, stability, discipline, trustworthiness and control. The King of Pentacles is a fatherly figure who likes to take care of others through providing advice guidance and wisdom, as well as more material aspects such as financial support and wealth. He is a true provider and generates a lot of his self-worth from what he has accumulated and what he can share with others. Everything he touches turns to gold. He is a shining example of financial stability, with wealth and experience coming easily to him and to share with everyone around him. This is a man who has reached the pinnacle of his financial power and influence and is able to rest assured of his continued prosperity. He is no longer required to struggle to achieve what he desires, like the page and the knight, and is able to accomplish anything he wants because he has already proven himself. Thus, the King of Pentacles often indicates the final fulfillment of a creative task business venture, or investment. Through diligence, responsibility and attention to detail you have achieved great things and can finally say that you have completed your task or attained your goal. You can now enjoy all that you have accomplished and the successes you have created. You have created a richness of life, not just financially but also spiritually, which will set you up very well for the future. Whenever you need the skills to manage your day-to-day -day affairs competently and efficiently, you can call upon the King of Pentacles. Work hard, methodically and conscientiously. Give generously of your time and resources, because by giving you often receive more, and making more money is something that all Kings of Pentacles love to do. This King is business-oriented and highly enterprising. He becomes thoroughly engaged in any activity that provides the ability to generate more wealth or more business. He is able to make any venture successful and can find a business opportunity almost anywhere. He can take an idea and make it work financially. He is a natural born manager, as opposed to a leader, which is more representative in the King of Wands, and business person. The King of Pentacles indicates that a methodical, planned and well thought out approach will lead you to success. Many consider the King of Pentacles to be dull and unimaginative but this is a likely consequence of his preference to do things in the most tried and tested way. You have experimented in the past with what works best and have landed on your own methods and practices that you know will continue to work for you in the future. So you continue down this path rather than trying new ways of doing things. You know that you have reached the height of achievement and you do not need to take any more risks. The King of Pentacles also calls on you to be pragmatic and to stay informed on practical matters. You need to get down to the basics and use your problem-solving ability to get to a solution. You also need to be able to leverage your various skills and resources in order to create success. This king can also play the political game well, 
interacting comfortably with everyone, no matter what his or her status. The King of Pentacles reminds you to remember that appreciating the sensual, luxurious side to life often makes life more pleasurable. As such, this king is about quality over quantity, and learning to enjoy full and joyful life. He is not afraid to spend money when appropriate so that he can generate much joy and benefit from life. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is the Four of Summer. Daily life can be full of hectic activities. You could grow distracted and not notice opportunities that are being offered to you. You may become so focused on what you don't have that you completely discount the gifts that you have been given. It's very important to spend time in nature, to take time to quiet your mind and heart. When doing so, you can ask God, the angels, and the fairies for messages about what opportunities are around you that you may not be seeing. Heaven is always offering you magical presents, but you have to be open to experiencing these gifts. A fairy stands in a prayer-like pose, clearly worrying over what she feels she has lost. Meanwhile, wonderful new opportunities beg for her to take notice of them. Additional meanings of this card, taking someone or something for granted. The power of meditation. A lack of motivation. Not seeing the forest for the trees. Daydreaming. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.